Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card reading on YouTube, so it's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So anywhere Aquarius energy influences your natal chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, wherever, it, wherever, you can apply these energies for the next, energies and themes for the next seven to 10 days. When, from whenever you see this video, I'm not marking dates on them anymore because they don't really matter, to be honest with you. Uh, but if you want to know when I upload the new video that you're looking for, because I upload a new Aquarius video every single week and I upload a lot of videos every single week. If you want to get the notifications, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, help the channel grow. Thank you so much. Um, but also ring that bell so that you know when all the content you're interested in is uploaded. Um, so you can get it like hot off the press. Uh, Aquarius, there is a sense of I was going to say slowing down, but it's not a bad thing. It's a calming thing. It's a sure, it's a surer sense of who you are. Um, if you're interested in a deeper reading of more uh, like above and beyond the energy reading, there's always a full tarot card spread that I do in an extended video. That link is below Aquarius. I hope you join me for that later. Um, it includes a romance reading as well. Once again, that link is in the description box. There is a sense of calming about you, a se a, just a sense of owning who you are, kind of being upset and frustrated about trying to get attention where attention wasn't coming. Um, so simultaneously, not caring anymore. Um, yes, you were frustrated, but the frustration is gone. Why? Because you're on to the next thing that you care about. You're on to the next thing that you were thinking about. Uh, whatever that's in your head, whatever idea is in your head is more important than you anyway, or your interpretation of it anyway. So there is a sense of being able to move on and being able to move on permanently and quickly. Uh, getting over it, essentially. It, it, not, it not being that thing that holds you back anymore. Um, really just loving who you are and feeling good about yourself. There's a lot of, especially with fire signs and air signs, feeling like yourself again, coming back into that sense of who you are instead of kind of feeling like something that you weren't and feeling a heaviness that you didn't like to feel. You really found your own voice too. Not really, not that you ever, you guys ever really care about what other people think, but you do care about what other people think about you, but you say, you say what you need to say anyway. Um, you just usually have a lot of confidence in what you say, but for some reason there was a lack of confidence and that's just, you're passing out of that now. You're, 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 you're moving on from that. Um, this is the energy that's crowning you this week. One plus four equals five. So you're changing. There's a shift. You're chameleon. Are you becoming something that you're not? Are you becoming something that you are? The sense of shifting your value system, shifting what you believe in, shifting who you are because things are shifting and you're shifting with the times and you're going with the flow and the times are actually shifting into you. So this is probably you shedding any kind of skin or shedding any kind of facade that you had. Um, not really, like I said, not really giving a gosh darn about what other people are going to think about you. Like really just letting it all go, like l really letting it all go, even in terms of propriety, not even caring about being proper anymore. Um, um, this could always be an energy of trying to blend in as well, though. This could be the reverse, a sense of really wanting to pretend to be something or pretend to care about something, <laughs> pretend um, to just like fit in. But there's, there's an intent behind this. So even if you are trying to fit in, it's almost like you're trying to fit in to understand. You know, you're, you're not just, you don't want to be just be a fly on the wall. You want to be somebody at the table. So you're willing to dress the way that you need to dress to get that seat at that table. Because being at that table is more important than giving up a little piece of you or than wearing clothes that you normally wouldn't wear. There is a sense of sacrificing and surrendering a little bit of the ego or that sense of self just to have a seat at the table because that's more important. 
a higher sense of self, something bigger than you, something larger than you is more important than what you, how you normally would present yourself. Your, the own, your own uniqueness that you take so much um, pride in is not your priority now. It's what your what what is your priority is being able to have the input that will make the impact. That's that's what you care about mostly now. Um, okay. A rebirth is assured. Yeah, there's a shift. There's a change in your mindset, like coming out of the dark. Um, not being who you no. Excuse me, this is being something beyond what you are now. Developing and transcending into something different. Trust in divine detours. Your whole sense of self is on a detour right now. You're taking a detour with who you are. You're going away from um, a comfort zone. But you're going away from it, like I said, with intent. You're, you, you, you want... Something new has been put in front of you that you normally wouldn't have given a darn about, but you're putting yourself right into the middle of it because you need to understand it better. Lay a solid foundation. Six. This is the energy of love. So this could be basically falling in love with somebody you normally wouldn't fall in love with. This could also be just wanting to build a future. Having an idea and a blueprint in your head of what you want the future to look like, even if it doesn't serve you or your ego, it doesn't matter. What matters is the bigger picture. Time to collaborate. Who are you working with? Wanting to connect, wanting to make connections and work with people, people that you trust, people that you can build with, people um, that you respect, or just people that you see the opportunities coming from. Being willing to take anybody on or take anybody into your space that will enable the what you want to build. Because you're not worried about conflict. You're worried only about one thing, the future and getting that building up. Like, like erecting it, putting it up. You're not held back or really worried about the particulars or the details of, um, is this going to work out? Are there going to be conflicts? It doesn't matter because essentially what you will do is you'll chameleon yourself to be whatever needs to be in order to get something done. Magic is working through you. This is you basically being in the leader seat. You're being the magician. Five plus two is the energy of seven. So you are definitely building. You're manifesting. I'm just getting this Aquarian energy of I, of I know what the future looks like. I'm building it. I've drawn it. I've built it. And now I am manifesting it into the 3D. Magic works through you. This is Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy puts your faith and puts your, put your focus on others, on helping them grow. But through them growing, you're also growing. You're also becoming more influential and more powerful. You're also seeding the world with your ideas through other people by pushing them forward, by being that helping hand, you are making a bigger name for yourself. Think on your feet, Sagittarius energy. Once again, more improvisation. Something is coming to a head. Chaos. Chaos. This is usually my chaos card, but it can be fun and it can be exhilarating. And I think that that's sort of the high that you're riding right now, Aquarius, is that... Um, you, you want to be in the middle of the storm. You want the chaos around you. You want the wind blowing. You want the excitement. This isn't about being calm. This is about taking risks. This is about going right to the heart of what needs to be getting, gotten to the heart of. Um, it's almost like this is the perfect state for your mind to be in. Because it doesn't have to be bothered or bogged down. Or nobody has to expect you to do something like... like fall in love. <laughs> this is, this is, but life could also be throwing you a curveball because it definitely has it right here. A detour coming that you did not expect and co collaboration is the central energy. And this is maybe you have your sights set on somebody or no, putting yourself into these new situations is opening you up to more than you expected it to. 
Be generous of spirit, lion. He only thinks of the future. This is forward. This is, this is your focus now, Aquarius, is forward. And Capricorn got this energy too. But I think it's the two of you moving forward together in unison, in leadership, in taking the lead and showing people how the, the direction to go. This is the energy of Lion Leo, a strong sense of self, giving almost giving the world back its strong sense of self. And why am I thinking this big and this broad Aquarius? Because you are. You don't want the small stage. You want the world stage. You're going to get attention. Whatever you have to do to get it, you're going to get it. As long as you call it to you and it, all eyes are on you. And that's exactly where you want them to be because you are the, you are the architect. You are the one who is certain. Now, if this is a romantic situation or scenario, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. <coughs> I apologize. Ooh, sneezing here. Reclaim your power, your strong sense of self, something that's been lurking in the background. And maybe you've been lurking in the background. Maybe you've been staying silent for too long and you're sick of staying silent. Be at home. The energy of 14, five change. Your sense of home has changed. Your sense of priorities have changed. And that's why there's Cancerian energy. You are laying a solid foundation. You are, you are, you are building, you are building something. You're building a home with somebody. Your energies and your focus has completely shifted to the emotional home domestic space. This is how you're going to be caring for other people. You're nurturing. This is more Cancerian energy. This is you becoming the nurturer. This is you taking care of. This is you lending your energy to. This is you giving yourself away like a Cancerian with. Why? So that you could fit into every situation. It's almost like you realize that in giving yourself away, you put yourself, you expand yourself in the best ways. That's the best way to expand a network is to actually be the thread itself. Ooh, this is diabolical and philanthropical at the same time. I'm shaking. Know your worth. Oh, you are very confident about yourself. But this is also a sense of trying to hide the stink. Covering something up in flowers that is really stinking and smelly. So you may feel a little bit of guilt here. You may feel a little bit of, am I doing the right thing? But ultimately your decision is, yes, I'm doing the right thing. Forget about if it's right or wrong. It's, this is the way to go. This is the direction. This is the newness. This is the future. I'm making the decision. I don't care about right and wrong because this is all new, all new. It, right and wrong doesn't apply here. This is um, something coming to a head, a stink coming out, but it's acceptance of what you are instead of trying to be something that you're not, which is in direct contrast with this. So I don't think it's contrasting it because I do think that there is a sense of still trying to cover up, still trying to fit in in a place where you don't normally belong. And you're doing it not to impress people, but to get in with the right people. You need to be in the flowers right now, so you're going to make yourself smell like a rose. You need to wear a certain shade, so, you know, to be able to be heard, so you're going to wear that shade. This is all part of your strategy. 100% you got your eyes on the prize. This is like underhanded, like not scheming, but like your plan. Your plan. And you're not necessarily sharing it with anybody, but there is definitely strategy here. It's really interesting though, Aquarius, because you have this really centered energy of collaboration. Of this home and this heart space. So maybe behind all of this is you wouldn't be able to feel comfortable in this situation that you want to be in, this home that you're building, the structure that you're building, this relationship that you're building, this project, you wouldn't be able to actually feel comfortable in it and, and like give yourself over to it if you didn't feel like you had some control over it. So part of this manipulation is actually manipulating yourself to do the right thing and be in the right place even if you don't feel comfortable because you know your comfort is not where you belong. 
your comfort is not where you belong. Where you're comfortable is not your home. Your home is in a bigger place. It's in a larger place. It's got a higher purpose to it. There's something more that you have to get done. So you now have to be at home where you would normally feel uncomfortable. And that's what this is about. It's not about trying to deceive people. It's about getting stuff done, but you're doing it by blending in. By blending or making connections or fitting in different kinds of groups that you normally wouldn't have fit in. Because the project is the important thing, not you. You're putting something ahead of yourself. And that is the project, the collaboration. This, 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 the collaboration is more important than you. Even if you don't feel fully, you, you know it. You trust your mind, you trust your wisdom to know that it's, this is bigger than me. So it's not about my eccentricities and being noted, noted and being, being noticed. It's about getting this done, getting this done. I keep, you're just so productive and constructive. You are literally building something brand new. No matter what you have to go through to get to it. And it's going to maybe, maybe even not take hits to your ego. There's Sagittarius and Leo energy coming through. That's a lot of fire energy coming through. You're showing a lot of charisma. Maybe charisma and a sense of yourself that you normally wouldn't show to people. There's been a shift and a change in what's important to you. And you're just rolling with the punches right now. Reason being, because you have to. To get to the next level, to get to the next step, you have to roll with the punches. I want to go so much deeper. Okay, hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around. If you want to go right to the extended now, the link is in the description box below. But I'm going to flip the camera around and review the cards. And here you go. Here you go. This is your grounding energy. It's almost like you're tricking yourself. You're tricking yourself as part of your strategy. You're making yourself feel at home and comfortable where you don't normally feel comfortable. And that's really what you want, isn't it? Is to feel comfortable where you don't feel comfortable. You want something new. You want something that isn't just about you. You want something that's about you and other people and how you affect other people. You want to affect somebody. You want to affect other people. So this is your central energy here, collaborating, getting together, putting the pieces together, finding people to build with, not, not constructing alone, working with other people, using their energies to help manifest your dreams, but which could be very mani manipulative, right? Very diabolical, but your dreams ultimately are to help other people, are to do something that's bigger and changes people's minds. And so you are changing your skin, shifting your words, shifting your clothes, shifting your appearance. You're changing so that you can fit in with any environment and collaborate with as many people as possible to get this job done. And you are rolling with the punches. Sagittarius energy is living with the chaos and feeling good in it. Not, not even looking. Cause why? Because you're not looking back. You're moving so fast, you don't have time to look back and worry. About what people are saying about you or talking about you. Why? Because now they're going to be watching you. Or at least they're going to be watching your butt go out the door. You are manifesting. Like cardinal energy. But this is cardinal energy that manifest through others like cancers work through others usually cancerians this is cancerian energy of making them become the best of themselves and that's sort of the energy that you're channeling now is taking this hit to your sense of self to bring out the best in others or using using 
not using, but yeah, using other people as a conduit to move forward as you're making, it's almost like a symbiotic relationship, not a parasitic relationship. Because you're helping them become better versions of themselves while you're simultaneously building your network and spreading through them. This is really, really interesting energy. It's got so much to do with something so much bigger. So I'm going to go into the extended. Please do join me. So I'm going to articulate this reading, Aquarius. Um, draw out a lot more details and go into what's happening with you in love. Because I almost feel like this is all this crazy convoluted way of you figuring out how to allow yourself to fall in love. I'll see you over there. The link is below.